I'm wearing glasses today because apparently my contacts and my eyes are in a tumultuous war with each other that I was not informed of. Hello, Danny and Lindsay. I have had quite an eventful two weeks. I don't know if I've told you guys, but I'm actually taking American Sign Language this semester because I'd like to get certified in ASL. My good friend who lives next door is also taking sign language with me and she also wants to get certified. And so she and I have been taking the class together and we've been trying to learn as much as we can. We're going to go get some dinner one night and we're at one of those places where, you know, you're waiting for your number to be called and they're like, Order 75 is ready. And you're like, I'm 35? How did... How did this happen? So we decided we were gonna have this conversation in sign language and work up our vocabulary a bit more. And we're just kind of doing the hello, how's the weather type of thing. And eventually we just started calling each other crazy and stupid and weird for the most part. And so our numbers are called and we go and get our food and we leave, at which point my friend starts hysterically laughing as we walk out the door. My friend then tells me that there were two girls sitting behind me that I didn't see that were watching us the entire time going, and they were staring at us, wide-eyed and gaping. Now, I can't give them too much flack because I know if I was in their position, I would have been staring in amazement too. But the thing is, as soon as our numbers were called, we immediately responded and went and got our food. I would have realized at that point that they are in fact in an ASL class. But no, these girls thought that we were deaf. So there's that. You might have noticed too that the title says crickets, and that is because there are crickets everywhere here, and it is driving me crazy. Danny and Lindsay, you might remember that I was in marching band in high school, and there was one home game we had where there were thousands of crickets, and they were crawling all over us, and they were flying, and they were dive bombing us. There's a picture of our drum major at the time holding a bag up like this, and there's, no joke, at least 50 crickets on this bag. So needless to say, after that game, I have zero tolerance for those little devilish things. And since it's been a really dry summer, unfortunately, there have been crickets everywhere up here. So the other morning, it's literally 5.30 in the morning, and I hear this chirping sound. And I whip out this flashlight, and I'm scanning my room for this cricket. And my poor roommate wakes up, and she's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, there's a cricket in this room, and I'm gonna kill it! And she just kind of rolled over and went back to sleep. I found out a little while later that it was outside the windowsill, but it was taunting me and it was chirping and I could not go back to sleep. So fast forward a couple of days later, there's this chair right here that I just pull out and there's a cricket just sitting there minding its own business. So of course I freak out and I capture it and I toss it out the window and give it a second chance at life. A few days later, I'm lying in bed minding my own business. It's midnight. I hear this wrestling against the windowsill. So I pause my music and I listen, then I hear the rustling again. So at this point I'm like, ah, oh, jeez. And sure enough, there was another cricket just sitting there. So this thing was trapped behind the blinds and I didn't really know how to get it out. So I grabbed a cup that I wasn't very fond of because when you live in a college town with a local burger joint, you get a few novelty cups. And so I open the blind slowly and I've got this cup ready and I'm just gonna slam it on top of the cricket and it jumps on my bed. So at this point I have no mercy for this cricket because it has violated my one sacred personal space. And I slam the cup down on top of this cricket and I'm slowly dragging it across my bed, completely disgusted at this point that there is a cricket on my bed. And I manage to slide a piece of paper underneath the cup, flip it over, and I go and toss it out the window. On a side note, my mother says that this is probably not the most humane way to get rid of a cricket, but I could have smashed it. I really could have. And don't they have wings? So they've got like a five second reaction time to decide if they want to fall to their doom or save themselves. I really hope PETA doesn't come after me for that. Not this PETA, by the way. Though in the grand scheme of things, having PETA Malark chasing after me probably isn't the worst thing. Anyways, I don't know why all these crickets are following me. What is it that I'm doing to make all these crickets come to me? Is it because I'm saving them? Because I will start smashing them if that's what it takes to get it through their little exoskeleton heads that I despise them with a burning passion. So Danny and Lindsay, that has been my couple of weeks here in college. Danny, congratulations on being one of the first to forget to upload a video. As always, Danny and Lindsay, hope life is treating you well.